The son who thought he knew better. One day, Jesus told a story about a man who had two sons. The younger son said, Father, give me my inheritance now. So the father divided the property and money between his two sons. Pretty soon, the younger son got together all the money he had and set off for a city far away. He wanted to live his own life and do as he pleased. The young man spent the money his father had given him on wild living. Everything he wanted, he bought. Everything he wanted to do, he did. But after a while, his money ran out. Then, when a famine came over the country and the young man had no money left, he was suddenly in great trouble. He found a farmer who gave him a job feeding the pigs in his field. The job did not pay much. In fact, the young man was still so poor, he was hungry enough to eat the pig's food. At that point, he came to his senses and said to himself, How many of my father's servants have more than enough food? And here I am, starving to death. I will go back to my father and ask if he will take me in as one of his servants. So he left and started off toward home. As he walked toward his father's house, the young son saw his father running to meet him. The father had seen him from afar and was filled with compassion for him. When he reached his son, he threw his arms around him and hugged him. Father, said the son, I have sinned against God, and you and I am no longer worthy to be your son. However, his father called the servants and said, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Prepare the food. We're going to have a celebration. I thought my son was dead, but he is alive. Now the older son, who had been working in the field, came home. What's this all about? He asked one of the servants. Your brother has come home, replied the servant, and your father has put on a great feast to celebrate. This made the older brother really angry, and he refused to join the party. When the father asked why he was angry, the older son said, All these years I've been working hard and have never disobeyed you. Yet you never gave me enough to have even a small feast with my friends. But now your son, who squandered your money on wild living, comes home and you throw him a big party? The father replied, Son, you are always with me and everything I have is yours. But now it is time for celebration and happiness because your brother, whom we thought was dead, had come home alive. He was lost, but now he is found. The end.